the, the key is that teachers are closest to the most essential piece of the puzzle and that are the, those are the students. And nobody understands how to connect, how to teach, and how to support those, those students better than teachers. Uh, they are logical leaders uh, in one-to-one in -one implementations and um, they get it. And, and without that kind of support, uh, nothing is going to be successful. Uh, we also have uh, put in place what we call teacher technology leads. Uh, these are teachers on a one period release so that they can provide some additional support in the buildings. Uh, in many cases these are exemplary teachers that already do great things in their classroom and what we're trying to do is have them step outside of their classroom so that they can provide to support to their peers and, and uh, basically um, accelerate some of the change that might be taking place in their schools. If districts are looking to leverage teachers as leaders, they need to think differently about people in those positions. Um, teacher librarians, teachers, uh, other educators, um, we tend to kind of think in terms of silos and traditional roles. And it's really important for um, district leaders to look critically at the skills that those people can bring to bear and, and, and give them opportunities to lead. I would say, you know, have realistic expectations for what's going to happen. Um, as much as there's a learning curve for students, there is very much for adults too, for teachers. And there has to be buy-in from the teachers to say, yes, we're going to use this device because it's going to help out with learning. It's not going to be something that is going to change my teaching in the sense of I don't have to teach anymore. It's going to be something that's going to advance our teaching and we have to be open-minded about that. I was a classroom teacher. I taught high school English for 10 years before becoming a librarian. So we understand the classroom. We understand students' needs. We end up playing this really interesting role where we're kind of a bridge between ideas that are happening at the district level and the classroom. And there can be such a disconnect between those two places. So um, when I first got on board, we were oftentimes the last to know about any kind of curricular changes that were happening. At this point in time, quite often we're involved with those decisions or even involved in helping to create the curriculum. As a result, we can then bring it into the building and, and translate it to teachers, to classroom teachers, so that they understand why we're doing what we're doing and what it looks like and how it might benefit students. For us, this is about uh, a culture that invites and empowers frontline practitioners to act with focus and coherency around our strategic vision. It's about creating ubiquitous leadership, giving permission, and empowering people to work in such a way that advances that vision uh, in a way that positively impacts student learning and student achievement. Trust is about empowerment. Uh, and creating permission for people to take risks in such a way that uh, enables them to innovate, to iterate. 